Well, good Friday morning to you. This is Preacher Scott from New Home Baptist Church bringing you a little short Friday devotion. And thank you for taking time to join in with us. If you've been following along with us on Friday mornings five weeks ago today, we were in this very same field. This is a forage um, mixture that I planted, hopefully to hunt some doves over. And I uh, want to just pan out here for a minute and let you see a little bit what's going on. So you can see the sunflowers are beginning to bloom. There's still a lot to go there, but some are blooming nicely. Uh, you can see down in the mix where we talked about having the uh, millet, the brown top millet. It's here, it's headed out. The uh, seeds are already starting to dry, so something's coming along already for the, for the doves to be able to eat. And then we have the milo in this uh, thicker section here. I don't see any heads on the milo yet, but they will be coming. And there's, there's tracks all through here and little trails that the deer have, have cut. And you can see right here, they've been clipping the tops off of the milo and some of the forage sorghum. So I've been very, very blessed so far to have this field useful for wildlife. I want to move back over here to the tripod and get you set up on it so we can read our scripture for the morning. Okay, hopefully you can see me there. What I didn't tell you that, uh, that I think you really need to know, and this goes right along with our devotion, is when I planted this field, it was very wet, and it was getting later in the, in the year, and I needed to get it in. Uh, it's been seven weeks since we sowed this, and I came over here with the tractor, had to put it in four-wheel drive to be able to get across the ground with the drill, and I just prayed, Lord, whatever your intentions are for this, you just let it happen. Uh, I want to be able to use it for hay and also to be able to hunt over. But ultimately, it's yours, Lord. So you just bless me as you see fit. You know, that works right along with what uh, we're going to read here about Solomon in God's word this morning. And, you know, sometimes I, I feel like that you're exactly like me. You ask for these short prayers you ask for uh, god to bless you in in certain ways and they're not, they're not long elaborate prayers but you just need god's help and you reach out to him you call out to him but i think sometimes we get busy and we run right on through and even when he answers them we don't give him the credit that is due solomon we know was the wisest king that ever lived and he was also probably the most wealthy man that ever lived but he didn't start out that way he started out young and i want to share with you a prayer that he brought to god at an early age from first kings chapter 3 beginning in verse 3 solomon loved the lord walking in the statutes of david his father only he sacrificed and made offerings at the high places he made offerings there because there was no temple yet and this is before he had rebuilt the temple. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. Solomon used to offer a thousand burnt offerings on that altar. At Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give you. And Solomon said, You have shown great and steadfast love to your servant David, my father, because he walked before you in faithfulness, in righteousness, and in uprightness of heart towards you, and you have kept for him this great and steadfast love, and have given him a son to sit on his throne this day. He's given him thanksgivings before he asked him of any petitions. And now, O Lord my God, you have made your servant king in place of David my father. Although I am but a little child, I do not know how to go out or come in, and your servant is in the midst of your people whom you have chosen, a great people, too many to be numbered or counted for the multitude. Give your servant, therefore, an understanding mind to govern your people, that I may discern between good and evil, for who is able to govern this, your great people." It pleased the Lord that Solomon had asked this, 
And God said to him, Because you have asked this, and have not asked for yourself long life or riches or the life of your enemies, but have asked for yourself understanding to discern what is right, behold, I now do according to your word. Behold, I give you a wise and discerning mind, so that none like you has ever been before you, and none like you shall arise after you. I give you also what you have not asked, both riches and honor, so that no other king shall compare with you all your days. If you will walk in my ways, keeping my statutes and my commandments as your father David walked, then I will lengthen your days. Friend, that's a pretty powerful prayer. Solomon didn't pray for riches. He didn't pray for long life. He didn't pray to conquer his enemies. He prayed for wisdom for the day. He prayed for wisdom for his people. And God not only granted that because of his humbleness, he granted all the other things to go along with it. I hope that's reoccurring uh, each and every day in your life. I hope you're lifting them, them small prayers up to God and you're watching them work. And friend, I hope you're very, very thankful to go to him when he answers those prayers. I don't know what you're facing today, but continue to reach out to God. Something as simple right here as me praying for a good stand for the time that I put these seeds in in this wet ground. It may, may seem very simple to you and to others they may not understand, but I really believe that God has blessed me with something here that uh, maybe I otherwise wouldn't have had I not given him credit for it and prayed out to him to begin with. Hope you have a great Friday. Thank you for always taking time to join in with us. And hey, pass this along to a friend. You never know what the message of Christ can do for those that get it just in that right moment. Take care and we love you.